Hi there, I'm Amanda Tennant with amandascorner.com. Today I'm going to take you through a Pilates mat exercise called the spine twist. So the spine twist is performed seated with the legs out straight and long in front. Um, if you have tightness through the hamstrings and you're unable to keep the legs straight and stay tall through the spine, go ahead and bend the knees or you can put a small cushion or a bolster or a foam roller, something underneath them so that they can just rest and be supported so that you can concentrate on getting length up and out through the crown of the head, long to the sides of the body, long torso. We want to maintain a really long torso through this entire exercise. So if you can straighten the legs and keep a tall spine, go ahead and try that. And then if you're able to, we're going to edge the feet. So what I mean by edging the feet, you're going to dorsiflex the feet as much as you can. So you're pulling the toes and the feet back towards your shins and then maintaining that through the foot the ball of the foot, the arch of the foot, you're going to try to soften and relax just at the toe joints. So what you end up having are your feet flush against an imaginary wall in front of you. So if I am to just pull back, pull back, pull back, you can see my toes are coming way past that vertical line. So I relax the toes and then I have my feet edged. And that's going to help get a little deeper down into the back of the legs and to keep the legs active. So when I do this, I'm going to be working down the fronts of the shins. I'm going to slightly engage my quadriceps. I'm going to squeeze my inner thighs together. And so I have a really stable base here, but I have a really active base too. My legs aren't being lazy. Okay, now pulling in at the belly button. So you're scooping the belly and pulling the navel gently in towards your spine to activate the deep belly muscles. And then again, you want your weight even on your sit bones. If you need to, to rock a little bit or to pull out the flesh from underneath the sit bones, do so. So you can get really rooted here evenly through your right and left sides. All right. Arms stretch long to the sides of the room. And you really want to reach. Again, the arms are not being lazy here. So we have kind of a star dynamic. We've got energy reaching out the crown of the head, reaching through the fingertips like you're literally trying to reach the walls of the sides of the room, tummy drawing in a tight core, and then energy out the legs. So our five points, feet, hands, head, and then emanating from the powerhouse. You'll take your inhalation here, and on your exhale, you're gonna twist gently to the right, looking over that shoulder, staying long through the arms, really tall through the torso. The tendency with this exercise is for one leg to shift if that happens, it means you are moving and rotating your pelvis. You're probably moving your sit bones as well. That's why we want that stable anchored base. We want this exercise to come completely at the waist. We want it coming through the obliques. We want to get rid of love handles. We want to get a nice spinal twist. We're not trying to rock and shift through the hips. So properly, you'll inhale, and then with the exhale, you'll twist just through the torso and waist. There's no slumping or rounding here. You're staying nice and lifted. Inhale back to center. It's slow and controlled. And exhale. And exhale. So my legs continue to stay squeezed together. My quadriceps are working. My tops of my shins are working. Anterior tibialis. We're going to do one more each way. So hopefully you're getting a little further each time without sliding and shifting through the legs. And I like to finish this by coming back to center, reaching out, really energized like we started. Let the arms lower down. I keep the legs and the body nice and active. This should be work. And then relax. And that is the posture and the belly work that you want to carry with you throughout the rest of your day. Whether you're off to work, off to care for children, um, and if you're off to bed, then sleep well. If you have any questions, you can feel free to email me at amandascorner at charter.net and I look forward to seeing you again in a future video. Thanks for joining me. Bye.